Disclaimer. Please pay attention. By continuing to watch this video you agree that all creators associated with this channel are not responsible if you get banned kicked warned. Hello guys, welcome back to another video and today we will be going over the executor called Kernel. Kernel has over 20 million plus downloads going by what they say on their website. It is a very stable executor, it doesn't crash, it's functional and it has a fast injection speed. But before we continue with this video, make sure you guys subscribe, hit that like button, turn on notifications that you'll be notified every single time I post a script, executor or you know safety tips, etc. So let's get started. But before we download Kernel, first thing that we have to do is go to our settings. Go over to your settings and go to update and security. Go to Windows security. Go to virus and threat protection. And then go to manage settings. And then turn off real time protection. If you are using a third party antivirus, which is a software, an antivirus software that you downloaded, make sure you open that application and then disable it from there. It should be called computer protection, file protection, or real-time protection, depending on which one you're using. Um, and yeah, make sure you turn this off. Uh, the reason why you want to turn it off is because it will mark kernel as a virus, um, even though it's actually false flagging. Uh, you, sh you can see what that uh, actually means on screen right now. So it's going to uh, falsely accuse it of being a virus and having a virus, but it's actually not. It's not a virus at all. It has nothing that will harm your computer, so you are perfectly fine. So we're going to go back to the website and go ahead and click on download. Now it's going to say kernel bootstrapper uh, dot 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 exe is dangerous. So Chrome has blocked it. So it is going to block it. But like I said, there's no virus. Go ahead and click on control J or go to the three dots up here and click on downloads. And it should take you over here. Click on keep dangerous file. Like I said, it's not dangerous. Go ahead and keep that. Keep anyway. And then click show in folder. Now, when you go ahead and show in folder, you should see the application right over here. Go ahead and launch it. Now it's going to say malicious file. The application may cause damage to your, to your device. Sensitive personal data may also be at risk. Go ahead and click on more information and then click on run anyway. Now it's going to go ahead and run it and it's going to say error. Uh, you're going to need a VPN. Uh, some internet providers do block their website. Not quite sure why, um, but in this case, if this does happen to you, you do need to use a VPN. Link is in the description. Um, I would go through that step with you guys, but uh, if I turn on my VPN, my recording software will, you know, stop recording and mess up everything. So we're going to go ahead and just skip this part on my side. But it will basically say updating and it will download the files and it should create a folder right over here and you should see all these stuff go ahead and click on kernel and launch it and there you go once you have launched kernel you're going to go ahead and click on others and click on get key and you can join their discord server if you would like to so when you click on get key it should take you through several 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 different link viruses five in total you're just going to go through all of them and then it should take you over here at the end copy the key and then when you are on uh, injection in game, you're going to go ahead and paste that in and it should allow you to go ahead and use the executor. So these keys do last for 24 hours. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys over here. But since I did already activate it, um, I don't think it's going to allow me to do it again. But let's go ahead and see. So it's going to go ahead. I have auto injection on. So you see. In this case, it would say, uh, you see where it said check and key. Uh, I'm going to put a, screen, a screenshot up right now. Um, in that time, uh, it, at that point, it, it will say uh, put in key. And then you're going to put in the key that you got from that website. Now, you got a file. So you can inject, kill Roblox. You got credits over here. You got games. So most are, uh, so they just did, did, oh my God, I can't talk. They disabled this because most, most of the scripts are patched. So you got hot scripts. So you got dark X, open GY, remote spy, uh, blah, 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 if any yield, command X, unnamed DSP, game sense. So, you know, you got a, you got a lot of options over here. So, you know, if any yield, there you go. You know, a normal admin script that everyone uses. Um, so, 
I got a script from my YouTube channel. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe, of course. Um, so you just need to click on execute and boom, there you go. And it should be working. You got save file. You can go ahead and you know save the script. Open file. You can open a Luna script and then you can clear. This will clear everything over here. Moving on to options, you got auto attach. I suggest turning this on because it is uh, the safest, safest, safest uh, ex execution. Um, so you will not get banned by anti cheat. Um, and you know it just you makes it so you don't have to you you don't have to actually attach it yourself. So topmost, this will basically not uh, you know put anything be uh, over the kernel application. Um, you got fade in and out. So if you turn this on, you know it's just gonna fade blah blah here and there you know when you actually go on it it's gonna go ahead and show so let me demonstrate so if we go over here we do topmost you'll see it'll fade out and then when we go back on it it'll come back so yep and then we got remove uh crash logs so this will basically not uh you know get a copy of the tra uh, crash logs and stuff so i definitely suggest turning this on if you don't want to have a lot of lag on execution and yeah, and if you do have any uh, DL like DLLs that are missing or anything like that, um, you, they have the install missing files. You can go ahead and click on install, and it will install all of the missing files. So we're gonna go ahead and close out of this. And yeah, so as you can see, the script is working. Boom, boom, boom. So the script that I'm using is in the description below if you would like to use it for some reason, but that is your choice. So this script, is, this executor is pretty good. It's pretty, actually, it's amazing. Um, the sad part about it is you do need to get a key, but you know, things that are free, eh, there's always some sort of catch at the end, but trust me, it is worth it. The key does last 24 hours, like I said. And yeah, make sure you guys subscribe, hit that like button, turn on notifications, you'll be notified every single time I post a script, uh, executor or tips and tricks, safety tips, blah, blah, blah. And I will see y'all. Okay, can you move so I can see stuff? All right, and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.